Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Yes. The word of God has been proven to be consistent. And if we apply our hearts to that word, the Bible declares that there shall be a performance so i want your heart to be expectant tonight don't be careless about this or any other meeting the presence of god is very special to me and um, when people trivialize the presence of god i'm not only sad i am shocked because I have learned by experience the richness of God's presence. Five minutes in his presence can give you something a lifetime will not give you. I know most times people think we just say these things just for the sake of it. But it is true. It is true. I have learned the valuable lesson of making the presence of God a priority wonderful testimonies great things he's doing but these are not the deeds of a man in his presence there are many things in his presence the grace the empowerment that you need is there Two, in his presence his wisdom is there you will always find the wisdom of god where his presence is you will not find the wisdom of god in a library you will not find the wisdom of god in in some kind of socialist gathering the wisdom of god resides where he is he is the fountain of wisdom and it is in his light that we see light are we together his power is in his presence the very factor that is responsible for god's dimension of results is found in his presence Without his presence, there is no other agency of fabricating his kind of results. You can get some kind of results, but not his results. In his presence, there is a possibility for restoration. What a powerful, powerful revelation. That it doesn't matter what has happened in my life and your life. When we come into God's presence, all of a sudden a possibility exists. That realities can be turned again in our favor in his presence there is deliverance separation from spirits influences and factors that can limit us is called deliverance deliverance is not just separation from spirits alone separation from information is called deliverance wrong information separation from negative factors separation from negative perceptions transformation renewal is also deliverance are we together in his presence your faith is lifted what is your faith your ability to believe god to be convicted about his ability and to act in light of that understanding it is only the presence of god that can guarantee access to faith from morning till this time we've heard enough information to dampen your faith and rubbish everything you know about god you've probably heard reports of people who have died you've probably seen people sick oppressed and all of that and those things have a way of be clouding our presence 
the psalmist knew the value of the presence of God listen you don't you don't just say you have attended a service just because you came and sat down and you were the witness of a program if nothing entered you you didn't come to church I hope you know that because church is not the place there are certain things that must make a meeting become that place of encounter and one of it is your ability to receive something you never knew or that something be activated in you so please don't just come and sit down just as a, you know that coming to the house of God can be addictive so you can be carried away that because I am addicted I have incorporated coming for koinonia as part of my lifestyle you can convince yourself that regular visitation is equal to transformation no hallelujah i value his presence i have gotten more from his presence than i've gotten from any other place and any other person believe me when i tell you this my foolishness was eroded when i came to his presence my faith was built when I came to his presence. Something culture could not do for me. No uncle ever gave me anything his presence has given me. No educational institution, no counseling or advice ever gave me what his presence gave me. So I will dwell in the presence of the Lord and abide under the shadow of his sing I will dwell I will dwell in the presence of the Lord and abide under the shadow of his Listen, they carried the rod of a man called Aaron no root nothing should grow when it's not connected to the earth it's a law but in the presence of god rules changed overnight and so fast you took a rod that is lifeless growth must always be in connection to the earth if the earth is not involved growth should not happen yet in the presence of god a rod overnight bordered you see that possibilities happening in his presence that one person can sit down quietly and at the end of this meeting you are carrying a level of grace you cannot even account for how did it come the word of God is coming and then your eyes is opening not just like illumination real visions being opened all of a sudden you are sitting down maybe in any of the overflows or listening and faith enters your spirit and you say this is it I found my key listen let me tell you you must know the word that is spoken and the word you have found they are not the same they are not the same a word can be declared the word can be declared but there is a word that you find your eyes is looking for something Lord thank you for all the words that apostle is bringing but there is a sent word I'm searching for it the Bible says if you seek her talking about wisdom you don't get you don't get wisdom just by being careless sitting around and hoping it will come you search it like someone looking for something that is missing lord what is the word for the anointing upon my life what is the word what is the word and all of a sudden it may be in one example there it comes your word not a corporate word a rima revealed word to you you will see something no one has seen and you will stand up on the strength of that the bible says man shall not live listen carefully by bread alone physical things man shall not live by certificates alone man shall not live just by human connections alone but you will live by the revealed word that proceeds not just the one you read in the bible there is a word you read from the bible but there is a word that proceeds from the mouth of the lord you can read your bible but it's the one he speaks to you through it he says the lord appeared again to samuel in shiloh by his word 
an appearance by his word so please don't be careless i can know whether the word of god is working in your life i can know whether all you've been receiving is scriptures or the revealed word let me tell you if it is the revealed word it will rubbish darkness in your life believe me so let's not just come and sit tonight and then hear and let me what new mystery what new dimension no father send something send something let there be a consolation to my christian experience that you are alive don't say it doesn't matter jesus caused the victory for not being fruitful it was taken from the earth and if you take from the resources of the earth something is expected to be produced from it are we together if your life does not bear fruit you will be frustrated in your christian experience i guarantee you don't mind people who say it doesn't matter it does matter if your life does not bear fruit in fact if it does not bear fruit 15 verse 8 of john says herein is our father glorified herein is our father glorified when you bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples you see that what do we find in his presence distribution of graces this is one thing i want you to always be aware of all that happens to you is not what your ears is hearing grace the grace of god is a living thing is alive it's not oil no there is an unction it can talk it can teach so as the word of god is coming with every point there is a grace not all of it may be applicable for you but let me tell you if you find the grace for you i give you a guarantee that grace will force like a demon spirit forces a human being to manifest its characteristic that anointing will force you to produce results that is consistent with the career of it if the healing anointing comes upon you it has nothing to do with whether you want to heal or not that anointing will alter you until that anointing can flow through you there's something we teach i think in geography or agric um called um tropic movements you see that that certain plants can tilt towards the sun we call it phototropism it doesn't matter the the plant will be forced by a law to find where sun is and grow towards that direction when you put a fence it's called geotropism it will break and push and go down that's what the anointing does your own is to pray that the real anointing comes truly let me tell you if the grace for wealth truly comes I know there is a place for intelligence but brothers and sisters the assignment of the anointing is to force your body to allow it produce so i can know what grace is on you by the result it produces a woman is a woman because of many factors among them the ability to conceive a man cannot conceive if you conceive as a man either the holy ghost helped you or you are lying please pay attention distribution of graces i want you to always imagine when we come for koinonia imagine that there is a cloud this is how i want you to be the bible says they were baptized into moses did moses ever carry a water and pour on their head as the word is sent there is an unction this is what you must look out for there is an unction this unction you must understand it it is that factor that makes the world work it's not just i got it you write nonsense and get up and your life does not produce there must be proof of your listening it's not just this ear alone it's not just this ear your life is at the mercy of which grace is working very simple there's no sentiments about it if the required grace is not there no matter what you do in the flesh it will never produce that result listen let me tell you this if i claim that the wisdom of god is working in my life and that that wisdom did not come by that grace the spirit of wisdom no matter how you try everyone will know this is sophia human wisdom 
when the wisdom of God comes upon an old uneducated woman you will see the lapse in her unrenewedness but you will still see the result happen regardless of the limitation are we together people of God please I want I, I beg you let's take our destiny serious and not just daily dull and play games and waste our time and be frustrated and say Lord why is this thing not entering me listen let me tell you this Paul called himself a wise master builder you see when you are listening to a man you have perceived the hand of God upon his life listen with an open heart don't come to change the equation when you've not gotten any result It's pride when I listen to people who have results I don't listen to alter the equation don't trivialize results it's more than you see there are dynamics happening it's not just about what you hear there is a grace many of us forget the grace dimension so we just focus on the information and at the end of it you are enlightened but not empowered you need both it takes enlightenment and empowerment not just enlightenment alone enlightenment prepares your mind to cooperate with the anointing but it is empowerment that is the factor for the results cunningly devise fables enlighten but they don't empower anointings and impartations alone empower but their operation is limited because your mind has not been being transited through transformation to align well to get the best of the anointing it is always a cooperation of light and that empowerment please pray one minute and say lord change my life today show me something change my life outside pray everywhere pray there has to be a way there has to be a way around my spiritual growth lord there has to be a way i admit i may not know the way now but there has to be a way the bible says there is a path which no fowl has seen the whelps of the lion has not gotten there if it is not working for you it doesn't mean it does not work or it cannot work please pray show me something oh god tonight that will be worth my sacrifice here open my eyes to a reality tonight that will be worth the commitment the investment hallelujah praise the lord please sit down let me just tell you a little story before i start teaching something very interesting happened today usually these things happen and they've happened for a few messages what i have no business sharing what i'm supposed to be sharing today i prepared something it's been in my heart and i've been waiting for god to allow me share it but i just decided to take out some time to lie down and rest i wasn't even sleeping i just put my head and i was facing my pillow and i just saw the theme like you write on a pillow that's it that's how i just saw it and i said wow this was around what time afternoon i just had to get up settle down plan to look at it and this was what i saw the lifter of men that's the statement that i saw i just laid down quietly and the hand of the lord came when his presence comes you will know hmm tonight's message i i i believe that there is an unusual a strange grace that will come when i saw it please help them ah, my God. the lifter of men yes he is there is a name he's called the lifter of men let's pray in tongues for a few minutes Shagato katapa lakata prete kete karatushi.
Shekete karuka tu sabrande kaparuka tu salabriata kata. Sakata baraka tu sabrande kete. Kaparaka tu salabriata. Legete karuta sabaruka tu shiadabara. Rando sabrata kala Please make sure you are praying. Don't worry about what is happening to your neighbor. Alabaka prakato salabaria na bala na bala na bala. Against me, many are they which say, Where is your help? We pray. sit down if you can be sensitive to the impartations that happen it's been my personal cry to God that every time I teach the grace component this is this is the secret this is the secret of results when the anointing behind the word backs up the word and enters you it must produce what the word says it's possible for the word to come without the anointing but when both of them come believe me it must produce the lifter of men let's discuss please sit down <laughs> i believe that the lord wants to unveil to us tonight the spiritual pathway to greatness there is a pathway to greatness undeniable please help those under the anointing undeniable ah, i'm telling you i sense a strong anointing very strong anointing very strong impartation i just pray that we'll be able to teach that grace is what will make you return with a testimony yes when the anointing comes on you don't just think maybe is coming okay i'm anointed no when the anointing comes on you you should rejoice because you should know that with that grace then a testimony is guaranteed that's how god answers prayers by supplying the grace the anointing the anointing the anointing does not make the difference it is the difference Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That a man can be weak and small today, but something can happen to that man and turn his seed into an oak tree. That someone can be small. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. Whether in ministry, whether in business, 
that something can happen to joshua selman can happen to anybody right where you are not you don't it has nothing to do with geography that is system of the kingdom look at the mystery of a seed you pick a little seed even a mustard seed plant it in the earth expose it to a system and all of a sudden regardless of gravity regardless of whatever that seed sprouts who says you must remain at this level forever in the kingdom growth is a possibility in the kingdom men can start small but it's a cost to end small in the kingdom spiritually you can start small in the anointing you can start small in prophecy in visions you can start small but that you must ascend a dimension in the spirit where you are weighty the word is weight weight capacity capacity you can start small financially but god can give you weight weight in this kingdom you can start small ministerially you can start small in the gift of the spirit the issue is not the smallness no matter how big or small a seed is a seed is a seed because it will still die but if that seed does die then it will now begin to reveal the potentials there please sit down help us holy spirit help us help us help us help us i love the way i love the way god helps us in this ministry i'm an organized person but not at the expense of the wisdom of the spirit when his wisdom comes that's it regardless of what it is and let me tell you you've heard me say there are not many sermons that god shows me like that and you follow every sermon that i tell you god revealed certain things to me you see the impact on those who believe it and receive it the lifter of men please sit down i believe it's one of the signs and wonders that the lord wants to do in this season to just lift men like that and use their lifting to prove to principalities and powers that i am still god that you have concluded about a sister and a brother a family based on whatever parameters let me tell you something with god when god wants to lift men he doesn't discuss it with anybody this is god god can lift somebody who was a drunkard yesterday regardless of what you think i thank god because he does not consult my enemies to lift me if god had to consult the wicked to lift me they would say because of my father's mistake i will not rise if god were to consult me maybe my tribe will be a disadvantage someone will come and say no this guy is from the north he should not be doing ministry at a global level maybe someone would have come to use all kinds of parameters but god the lifter of men he said jacob have i loved esau have i hated it's as simple as that i am the god of the universe i can lift whomsoever i choose that's what god has chosen to do with this ministry that's what god has chosen to do with my life god can choose to lift men at my level as a human being I can choose to lift men in whatever capacity I can someone can sit down and say I choose to give you admission it's within his power another person can stand up and say I choose to pay your rent I choose to give you a lift men and God can say I choose to lift you I choose to open your ministry to a horizon you have never seen I choose to wipe the tears of your family in one week I said no lord my plan was for one year and god says this is god talking it is one week i have chosen please sit down let's see how god will help us tonight the waters have been stirred the waters have been stirred god does these things that men will fear him lifting in the kingdom 
is a mystery and a system it can be studied every single person in the kingdom please sit down if you can every single person in the kingdom desires growth desires greatness greatness is not a carnal word are we together now greatness is not a demonic word greatness is not a word for unbelieving people greatness is a kingdom language are we together now it's a system where God enlarges you in influence and capacity where he makes you a voice so that you can legislate on his behalf greatness is God's desire God is an enlarger he can expand the coast of men he did it for Jabez he did it for the nation of Israel he can expand people the very system of the growth of a plant as a plant grows it doesn't remain at the same length or breadth it expands so with growth should come greatness with growth should come increase I'm going to do my discussion tonight in threefold and I'll be very fast wherever we stop tonight we will just pray and then we can continue next week I decided to break it into three dimensions listen very carefully the lifter of men I want to share with you the kingdom system of lifting many of you by this teaching I believe you will find in this roadmap this compass where you are for many of you tonight's teaching will minister hope for many of you tonight's teaching will supply the staying power to continue for many of you tonight's teaching will lead to repentance a realignment because you find out that the path you are taking is not going to lead you there for many of us what you need in tonight's teaching is the grace to continue and for many of us what you need to learn tonight is thanksgiving because you will find out that your prayers have already been answered are we together the first dimension we are going to look at in the lifting of men is what i call the journey of faith write it down and let's discuss the journey of faith there is a system with which god lifts men in the kingdom in as much as he lifts men instantaneously the pathway that pathway to greatness there is a spiritual science there is a technology it can be learned are we together hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 let's start off with it tonight the bible says for without faith listen carefully for without faith it is impossible to please him for he listen carefully he that cometh to god must not may it's not a choice must believe two things one that he exists the journey to greatness starts with the journey of faith coming to a point of persuasion about the reality of god the bible says that in that journey of faith the first encounter you need is an encounter that furnishes the reality of the god you are dealing with listen carefully one of the things that the body of christ must learn when believers get born again get filled with the holy spirit they need to be taught how to live by faith please write it down this kingdom operates by faith this kingdom operates by faith everything in this kingdom is faith dependent you cannot do business with god when you are still in doubt of the reality of his person not his power that he exists i'm showing you the the way god guides people the holy spirit the journey of faith encapsulates everything the systems that the holy spirit brings you into so that you can have encounters and conviction you don't become no great man is in doubt of what his his persuasions that is something you must settle before you get to certain dimensions because the challenges that are before you will require strong conviction about the person of god are we together the bible says whosoever comes to god must believe that he is you will think it's a simple statement until challenges stand before you and you will find out that for the first time 
you are joining the mindset of an atheist to doubt is God really alive there is there is there are certain giants that you face on the mountain brothers and sisters if you have not settled the reality of God you will doubt ask John the Baptist you will think just because John the Baptist ordained Jesus the reality of his Godhead the reality of his person had been furnished in John when John was frustrated to a point where his human weakness was at his prime John sent somebody he said go and ask him are you the Messiah how about John you ordained me into ministry John said with what is happening now no if you were God you are too mighty to leave me in the prison go and ask him oh I'm no longer sure Jesus had to tell the disciples when things started going bad he said who do men say that I am and he said who do you say you would think that that was an easy question nobody could answer don't assume you know God because your knowledge of God is what will strengthen you is what will make you stand and say I'm not going back that mountain I was climbing many believers in church think knowing God is singing Christian songs they think knowing God is praying in tongues just because you are saying bah, 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 you are just praying say I know God or knowing God is an election I am elder this I am pastor this I am apostle this do you know God of course I do let me ask you that same question do you know God <laughs> you will be surprised that you are shocked now you may not honestly be able to answer that question do you know God do you know God the Bible says whoever must come must believe that he exists there's something called April Fool you know what April Fool is April Fool is an attempt to play games with your mind is that true sometimes can be expensive so they can tell you something like pastor alpha an alert has just come for you whereas it's not true that's how many people think God is and situations and circumstances can push you to a point where you believe God has calmed you read the frustrations of David in the book of Psalms many times David would talk as though he was not born again many believers would say How about David David no brothers and sisters if we are honest the pressures of life can change your perception in a way that even you you have to ask God for forgiveness are we together ask a woman who has been barren for 22 years no child ask a woman who has been serving in the house of God for 22 years no child ask her is there God and you see her cry and say don't ever ask me that question again she's serving God but she does not want to confront it because confronting it will bring anger where is that God for 22 years where was he when I was fasting where was he when i was praying don't be too quick to assume you know god i'm not saying have you received zoe i'm not in doubt of that the encounter that gives men stamina unto death are we together when they caught jesus the disciples believed that Jesus will do all that he is known for again. And Jesus gave himself freely. They ran away. Why did they run away? They didn't run away just because. They ran away because they felt cheated. You can know it because they ran back to their fishing. What a stupid man. You've wasted our time. You proposed to us that we we're going to be mighty men. My mother even liars sitting at my right and left and now look the nonsense you have made out of my life i go a fishing and the other disciples say we go with you and suddenly jesus appears little children have you any catch and they were looking who is that and when they discerned it was the master the bible says peter washed himself and ran and came and jesus looked at him simon bajona lovest me thou more than this lovest thou me more than this and he said well lord i do feed my lamb he began to talk with him and you would think after that one jesus said, okay guys thank you the bible says in acts chapter one for 40 days 
Jesus remained with the people and was teaching them on the matters of the kingdom and afterwards he left and the Holy Ghost came brothers and sisters do you know miracles don't make you know God they can help your faith many people saw Lazarus raised from the dead but it did not make them know God the presence of miracles are not enough the only entity that is capable of helping men know God is the Holy Ghost there is no amount of education and Bible study that can help you know God no the knowledge of God is a reality that only the Holy Ghost is able to help men the lifter of men follow me carefully so the, the starting point of a believers journey to a realm of greatness brothers and sisters hear me carefully is the journey of faith coming to a point where you are persuaded beyond beyond manipulation that God is alive you have come to a point where your results are too small to prove or declare otherwise the reality of God you have come to a point where even when you are drinking Gary no sugar you don't just say God where are you you don't know him are we together there is an encounter i've taught you what an encounter is an encounter is a supernatural experience that makes the a reality real to you it furnishes the reality of a person or a thing to you i have touched this gentleman i have felt his arms i can't deny if you say oh you touched a bag of rice you are not going to tell me I touched a bag of rice because I've touched rice too. I've touched a human being. This is not rice. This is a human being. So no matter how you try to manipulate me, there is a level of certainty. Everyone say the journey of faith. <laughs> the Bible declares in Romans chapter 1 verse 17, Galatians 3, 11, Hebrews 10, 38, that the just shall live by faith not the just shall get by faith the just the template for the life of the just in this kingdom is faith everybody say faith your persuasion your persuasion about who god is not what he can do bible faith starts from a revelation of who god is it is only when you know who he is that you can believe what he can do many of us jump the encounter of who god is and we just go straight to what he can do must believe that he is and then when you are done believing that he is then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek it no seek power now that you know he exists when you seek him passionately there is a reward for it the just brothers and sisters shall live by faith are we together now and you see the system of faith is such that except there is a word there cannot be faith even if you encounter a person it only produces conviction there cannot be faith because faith is an action word an action only happens when a word has come either to instruct you or give you something to do john i mean matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 says man shall not live by bread alone this is jesus speaking responding to satan but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the god you have encountered man shall not live by bread alone but by every rima, the revealed word that proceeds. In this kingdom, we live by the word of God. We live by the speakings of God. Not just scripture, not just verses, not just chapters. We don't live by verses. We don't live by chapters. We live by the speakings of the word. The chapters and the verses are only containers. They are not the word. They carry the word the breath of the spirit opening those chapters and verses you see listen the message behind a chapter is the word of god 
not the story the message you may have been reading scripture but the message in the scripture is where the word of god is because that's where your instructions are hinged upon are we together now the journey of faith many people never become great in this life because their cultural experiences are greater than the revelation of who god is did you know that every time satan wants to destroy you wants to limit your mind he uses the information that is already in your mind he doesn't bring an information outside there is a reality in your mind so he calls you and he says i hope you are aware that you are from this state and you say i remember the information i've gathered about that state is that people don't prosper and satan says that's exactly what i'm saying and it is that raw material he begins to push you are you aware that you read hausa or you read french and are you aware that in nigeria if you study some of these things you may not have an opportunity for a good job you say yes i'm aware satan uses the content of your environmental conditioning as the platform to limit you from believing God listen brothers and sisters please hear me especially if you are in ministry or going or going into ministry spend as much time as you can having encounters with God you will drink from that fountain for life if that fountain dead dries before you get to the promised land you may not arrive there are things today that will never shake me because there is a solid encounter about who God is. Listen, if you don't know who God is, you will never stand well. Because all kinds of things will come to derail you. You know how many pieces of papers people have passed to my life in the name of prophecy? You know how many kinds of things, you know how many dreams and visions people send to my phone. Apostle, I saw something. God is going to destroy you next week. You don't know God, you will die like a chicken because of the conviction of a man. Someone just gets up and looks at you and says, God is going to destroy your family. We found out that your grandfather was a wizard and, they, and you now go back and believe is because you don't know who God is when you really know who God is you will learn in your knowledge of God that the Lord is gracious and compassionate he is slow to anger and rich in love the knowledge of God is what strengthens your conviction about operating in the kingdom David knew God what a man David knew God God gave him an option. Should I give you over to your enemies or to you? David said, no, 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 no. God, at least me and you, with these men, they are wicked. But you are compassionate. What has your not knowing God cost you in life? Impatience. Not knowing God. And not knowing how he operates has destroyed a lot of people. They call light darkness and they call darkness light. He that cometh unto God must believe. The first thing the Lord began to do in my life, brothers and sisters, is not to give me anointing. It's not to give money. It is always the journey of faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. Lord, how will this destiny be built? By faith. Lord, I'm an orphan. My father is dead. My mother is dead. And God says, you must learn how we operate in this kingdom. It is by faith. What does that mean? By my word. If I speak to you, notice that my power follows my word. So if I speak to you, you must learn to trace the direction of my power by looking for where my word is. Anywhere my word is not, stop looking for my power there. If you find power, there is divination. My power follows my word. If I say I will lift you, then you stay at that area of the world. That's where the anointing will meet you. The anointing follows what God said. The anointing has no business doing anything God has not said. You can know where the anointing is by finding out what has God said. If God said, I will exalt you, don't look for the anointing for any other thing. The anointing for exaltation will remain until that word comes to pass. Then returns back to God as a messenger. Job done. 
then he will say something again then the anointing will start looking for it the anointing does not just move at random the anointing backs up the word so the issue is not where is the anointing the issue is what has god said are you getting what i'm saying many believers let me tell you why we don't get miracles we roam around around areas and zones where god has not said anything and we keep crying for anointing to come and the holy ghost tells you this kingdom is a faith kingdom you don't just cry for anointing to come you cry for his word send your word oh god and the anointing follows that word you want to build a ministry what did god say nothing so you just carve out a ministry lord you must anoint this ministry the anointing said no way i don't work that way i walk i respect the word spoken notice satan does not fight anointing he fights the word because he knows that the word has the word like like when president buhari comes to zaria you don't need to bring el rufai El Rufai will necessarily be part of that entourage. That's how it works. Many believers don't pay attention to find out what God is saying. We pay attention reading the Bible. We pay attention reading devotionals, which is good. But to be able to understand what God is saying, look, notice that the secrets of the success of people, they didn't walk by faith just by reading the Bible at random. They walk by faith by staying to hear. We are going to fight. Oh God, what is your, what, what is your word? And God says, I will give you victory. They say, guys, let's rejoice. Victory would be guaranteed. If you don't live by faith you will end where your parents ended it takes faith to transit you let me tell you waiting for somebody to give you a guarantee of job after school is foolishness it will never happen everybody you see that has risen to any point of greatness in the kingdom did so by faith the reason why many of us don't get results is that our faith is not in God our faith is in men auxiliary support systems my uncle is a senator in Ibadan my uncle is a senator in Uyo I my uncle is coming out for presidency next year and so when you say those things and pride in them and say no I can't fail and the Bible says woe to any man who puts his strength in a man the greatest of any man can fail you so God begins to teach you son I want you to be great that's the promised land but this journey is going to be by faith and he said Lord at the point of this journey i just have one gideon's international one bible no revelation no wisdom god says don't worry all i need you to do follow where my word is and you will get there follow my word follow my word follow my word so when you open the bible all you do is to just read oh i will bless you mm. When you read it, read it like the will of a man to you. Many people read the Bible like God speaking to the disciples. I have a personalized Bible. It was a gift that was sent to me years ago. Everywhere they wrote the name of anybody for good, they changed it to Joshua Selman. The whole Bible. I don't use it now, but it's a powerful revelation. So, thus saith the Lord too. You see it written there, Joshua Selman. Fear not, I have redeemed you. And he's speaking to me now I have called you by name fear not fear not that means the anointing for courage is somewhere because God has spoken to me are you seeing now you can know what anointing is there don't you see how the anointing moves in koinonia when the word comes the grace for it is what comes God healed blind Bartimaeus he did not become a rich man his cry his demand was to be healed god spoke to him in the area of healing the anointing that came was for healing blind Bartimaeus never prospered just because god spoke healing no. it is the word that comes to you that controls the anointing that follows you god called benihin into the healing ministry there are many auxiliary graces 
but the strongest grace that operates is the grace that came with that word for as long as that word remains on him that grace remains on him are we together yes pastor if i come to your house and you ask your wife to go and bring minerals for me you gave a word the performance will be in the area of where minerals your wife will not go and carry your shoe you can still give me your shoe but you chose to give me minerals because that's what you saw that will minister to me more and you say wife go and bring mineral she will go to the kitchen or wherever they keep the minerals and carry it and bring it the performance was in the direction of the word you see please sit down sir you see that we neglect the word of God, yet we want performance. Many believers, including those who study the Bible, don't take the word of God seriously. Let me tell you, if God has spoken to you, and you know he spoke to you, die there. This is faith. These careless things people do around, one leg here, two weeks later, you will never rise like that. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. God, you told me I may be the last born in my family. But you have assured me that in my father's lifetime, they will glorify God. I believe you. I take you. I believe that word. Your reception of the word, the anointing begins to come because you have believed. The Bible says, who has believed our report? It is to that person, the arm of the Lord. The arm of the Lord is his right hand of power it is who believe the report that sees the right hand not who wants to see the right hand brothers and sisters in this kingdom there is no advantage to your life until the word of god comes to you hear it the word of god is your advantage in life whether the word revealed through illumination from scripture or spoken to your spirit by the holy ghost Put together a miracle service at the end of every month lord this is your word yes sir and that journey of faith god guarantees that every time the anointing to make sure that word comes from him see when you train yourself don't you know that it's risky sometimes you hear me talking about people oh there's somebody here the anointing you think i'm just guessing you try it and see whether it happens there is you train yourself you don't say lord let the anointing go there you already know that once the word of god comes the requisite grace will follow it come on now come on now so god comes to a family brothers and sisters where nobody becomes anything and god now speaks a word to that family he sends that word to jacob and intends that that word lights upon israel and god comes to you and says, mary you are a young woman a young virgin but i want to speak to you you will carry that holy thing and mary said really be it unto me and the anointing that will force her womb seed or no seed to take the seed of the word of god the incorruptible seed that abides forever and jesus came so the next time you see people doing extraordinary exploits don't say they are lucky they believed they believed lord will you really do this i believe you lord look at me the last person who would have helped me in life just died and god said a human being died but my word is still alive keep going and he said lord school fees is tomorrow i'm in 200 level you spoke to me that i will become a professor i'm already on my way out and god says no keep your gaze on the word if the word is there be sure the anointing is there god's instrument god's performance factor the anointing every time i travel for ministration i don't know the cases i'm going to see i don't know who is going to come when i come for koinonia when we come for miracle service i don't say go around and find out the cases and write let me be sure you know that god sent a word and you know that the anointing is following it let me tell you if god speaks a word to your finances then keep going the journey in this life is by faith you can be weak sitting down right now and god says you are going to be the overseer of an international ministry you will communicate the purposes of god you say lord but i'm a woman i am weak and god says don't insult me i have sent my word i 
I've sent my word. I've sent my word. And all of a sudden, now do you know it's possible for that person to die without it coming to pass? And so just because you didn't engage it, you will now say, you see, God said it. The word of God does not work automatically. The same way no seed grows automatically. There must be a reaction between the seed and the earth. The seed has potentials to produce. But you keep, keep beans or maize. Take away moisture. Keep it on in your kitchen. After five years, you will still see it there. But take the same seed. Do something to it. Add it to the earth. And all of a sudden, a tree will come out brothers and sisters when the lord called me there was no human being that said i will support you there was no family meeting that said oh young man we are your uncles and aunties who have decided to come together because we discovered that you will need a suit or oh, look i have an uncle in Ibadan, and he will call you it is by faith i was talking to someone i said i came to zaria with one bag one shoe I don't know how many clothes where did everything come from faith not store faith your destiny will only happen by faith that ministry you have been seeing in the dream you would keep seeing it till Jesus comes it is faith that will bring it alive everybody say the journey of faith there is no great man in the kingdom who does not have a testimony of triumph to faith you read about the great men and women that God is using around the world and see the impossible situations that surrounded them. Kenneth E. Hagen was born with a heart deformity. It took faith to cancel it out. David Yonggi Cho, his own limitation and imperfection. Some of these men were born in nations. They were, they were racist nations and everything. And faith, faith. Have you not learned that faith is the victory this is the victory that will give you the house the victory that will give you the child the victory that will turn your wilderness even our faith when the Lord was speaking to me you were not there what was the guarantee brothers and sisters everything in life is a risk the only guarantee in life is faith god said it he said it in his word i have found it i know the thoughts that i think towards you joshua selman hallelujah they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end lord you really said this about me yes sir i said this son lord you said this about me yes sir behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies here's the revelation and nothing shall by any means he never said nothing shall hurt you nothing shall by there are many means with which things hurt people and god said shall by any means You are that committed to protecting me thank you jesus it was not always rosy but faith keeps you to keep seeing the promised land even if you are inside fire don't let anybody fool you that is from the speakings of god into the promised land no sir the journey is far but once you face you keep your eyes like a flint then i give you a guarantee the dust will rise and settle you will still be standing it is by faith that we rise it is by faith that we reign there are people who came to zaria to school pastor they came to zaria with just a box they they didn't even have admission they just came by faith i would die here today they are lecturers no house there are school of ministry students who have come now some of them came by faith just do you know if you really believe god his integrity will have to come and prove god will not allow your trust in him to be aborted it's too precious listen i'm a man of logic i'm a man of organization but no matter how organized you are in life 
if you must get to the other side there are times you will get up waiting for a boat you may that boat will come when you are 80 years you will just need to get up and say lord you said i should go to the other side here i come you have to get up and jump in that's why many young men will never build because it takes faith not cement many young men will never rise up and move in life they will never go out of their parents house 40 years they are still there let's take it easy i've applied let me see how jobs will happen in life no sir no sir it's good to be responsible it's good to be as whatever as you can how much money do you have in your account to do ministry you really believe you can have enough it takes faith apostle where will the partners come from apostle if i reach lintel level apostle i wanted to buy a house and they say it's 50 million and all that i have right now is 250 naira that somebody even gave me faith is a currency we purchase things with it in the kingdom lord i believe you where are you sending me to oh god i'm sending you to south africa lord i've never gone out of nigeria son the anointing follows my word if i have spoken to you and i give you the go ahead go there are some of you as you are looking at me god is saying how long will you sit down and not arise to let me stand up for your family god has already told you you are the savior of your family what kind of vision are you waiting for lord what is the next instruction i take on that mantle what is the next instruction what is the next instruction you have told me that i will be great you have said i will not be small lord i've been crying about the class of degree i graduated with and you have come to me in your mercy and you have said you will multiply me i will not be small you will glorify me i will not be few lord i engage let my heart be the earth for the seed to be planted and brothers and sisters you will see this wonder working god who has helped some of us and produce glory out of foolish and stupid things whenever you see great results many of you sit down and think kai this people must be lucky what a lucky businessman what a lucky man of god oh papa Ia Deboye, so lucky ah lucky luck I'm a believer the journey of faith some of you this is where you are with God notice you know where you are by the kind of dealings that come God can sit down and you you say Lord I have only 500 naira and God says give everything there's something he's teaching you it's not all about parting with 500 naira he's teaching you how a day will come he will flex your spiritual muscles whether there is money or not it doesn't affect you he's weaning you from dependence to physical things i've shared with you my story i'm not saying you should do it you do it at his word i have taken trips with zero naira zero naira and return back to my destination with zero naira because god said it i remember when i was in area bz i would trek because i would believe now whether it was god i had or not i don't know but i'm not ashamed it's a training process i would sit down and trust god for grace that time no atms no nothing no branches branches don't even connect themselves i would believe that god put money for me in the bank and i would trek from bz to first bank i would join a long queue praying in tongues believing that i will withdraw money i would stand there after hours all of a sudden i would now submit it and the person says, sorry are you expecting some money i'll say yes say, well sorry you need to maybe call the people the money is not there and imagine how heartbroken two hours yet i will look and say lord i give you the glory and god will be silent as if he's not hearing me when god is silent it's not ignorance it's training there's something he's doing to you you need to learn this many of you have been taught that god always talks it's not true god talks but he doesn't always talk when he's training you you keep quiet the journey of faith all of a sudden they transfer something to you 
and God says carry that 10,000 buy chairs for a church and he said God why are you doing this to me I go to bed in the night and I see the visions of a great destiny I wake up and Lord you are humiliating me what is this and God says no I'm teaching you how to trust me I'm teaching you how, how will you be great when you don't learn how to trust him how will you be able to give the car and give the house how will you be able to give the word of knowledge among thousands of people when you are afraid when you are still your ego is still on the line how will you be able to stand and say there's somebody in so 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 place you think you can have that courage without training no sir the journey of faith one day god will lead you you are going to have a healing ministry and god will lead you to someone on wheelchair you will know you had god you will lay hands and lay hands and pray and pray and pray and nothing will happen you will call upon god and you will feel like god is bell and at the end of it in shame and embarrassment you will turn to the people and say i'm sorry i i came here full of faith you see that i love god and sometimes you are guilty for the honorarium they give you because nothing happened and you go back and say god why did you do this god will say sit down let's continue continue what god will say you passed the test you still came back to me even in your failure it's a sign you will never leave me even when you fail because if you fail you should look for an alternative but god watches you as you fail and you come back and still bring the shame lord i failed they invited me for the meeting i promised them that there will be an impartation and at the end of that meeting i was so disappointed lord who else will i run to and god says come it's a journey of faith is god helping somebody great people never become great until they learn how to take god at his word many of you have not learned to take god as his word if god speaks to you then know that everything will be all right if god tells you your womb will carry a child then brothers and sisters whether or not there is a womb there know that the anointing is going to come and produce a womb because god said so is the lord speaking to us some of you this is the level you are now you are starting with god god is working with you sometimes god will speak do you know god even uses your mistakes to help you there are times you think you had god you had like god said you should go out he won't stop you and correct it he can still use it and you come out in the night and say lord i had like you said i should come out and you stand there 10 minutes nothing happens you feel so ashamed and go back and then you say lord was it you or not god says that's not the most important thing the most important thing is you are working on your aptness to act when you perceive that it is me when you are about to fall he will protect you you say not so far my might can keep you but let's continue the training listen walking with god is not about accuracy it's about your commitment to do whatever you know god has the power to stop you from failing we are too conscious of ourselves and our reputation that's why we can never be great god can speak to you and say young man start a pure water company and you say oh god please don't don't make a fool out of me where i don't even know anything about it no i have except god does not speak to me there is nothing i will do when god has not spoken i have learned the excellency of the voice of god please learn this tonight do not ever be found where the voice of God is not in. No matter what price you must pay to be sure that God is there, pay it. Three days before Koinonia started, I went back for a retreat. I said, Lord, you see the enormity of the work. Please speak to me. If you are not the one and this is not your will, I will cancel this thing now. And God said, no, son, it is me. So if, even if Benihim calls me today and Papa Iya, Deboya and all the fathers of faith and say, son, we see what you are doing. May the Lord honor you, but um, you are not in the will of God. I will kneel down and appreciate them and say, I respect you as fathers, but give me some time to go back to God. But I know that I had God. Do you know why many of us never stay to the end? We didn't take out time to be sure that it was God. I believe, I believe, 
Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. In Exodus chapter 3, when God wanted to begin to walk Moses the path of greatness, notice the first thing that happened, an encounter. Moses saw a bush. A, he's standing and tending Jethro, his father-in-law's sheep. All of a sudden, a voice calls him. And Moses comes and begins a conversation with God. Who are you? Where are you talking from? Because it is on the strength of your encounter. He reveals himself to you. He reveals his words to you. He reveals the potency of that word. And then you can go. Who are you? And then in verse 15, he begins to speak. Moses said, if I go to Pharaoh, at least I know Ra. I know these gods. I have seen similitudes of them as idols. I have heard them talk. And I know. Do you know it's because the nation of Israel really did not know God. That's why when they were tired, they said, build us the one we know. Please, leave this your God of Hebrews. Build the God that brought us out of Egypt. Aaron, make sure you build. And they collected all the materials and built a golden calf. Behold, everybody goes to the person you know. And if you don't know God, get ready to go to a herbalist. If you don't know God, get ready to go to a witch doctor or go somewhere. Those who go to these people are not wicked people. They are just people who don't have convictions enough. And God told Moses, he said, Go and tell them that I am has sent you. He said, I am that I am. Moses said, interesting. Which one is that? He said, okay, you are crying for an encounter because you can't go and stand before Pharaoh when you don't know me. Moses, let me reveal myself. And after that revelation, he said, Moses, take your rod, throw it on the ground, became a serpent, pick it by the tail. And then he called it the rod of God. He said, this rod wherewith you will do signs. And he said, go. Moses goes to stand before Ramesses, his half-brother, who had now become the Pharaoh, and said, Thus saith the God of the Hebrews, Let my people go. And Ramesses laughed, said, Moses, we played games together. For 40 years you have been away. I'm sure some poverty has changed your mindset. All kinds of bad things have happened to you. And he said, No, I met another personality, the God of heaven. Are you going to listen to me or not? He said, no. Through his rod, it became a serpent. And then Pharaoh laughed and said, Moses, shame on you. This is what you came to threaten me with. Janus, Jambers, come and show this guy that Egypt has grown since he last left. And the guys laughed and threw their rods. And then all of a sudden, a snake swallows another snake, does not become fat. And then Moses picks it up, says, explain it. Pharaoh looks. He couldn't pretend that did not touch him. Say, but I'm still not convinced enough. Go. But he must have slept in the night and said, Wow, Janus Jambers come. What happened? Where did that matter disintegrate to? There is a God of creation revealing himself. And after the last plague, many of you don't know why Pharaoh cried. Pharaoh did not let them go just because his son died. No. Let me tell you, when you study Egyptian religion, the covenant that they enter with their firstborn sons that will later become Pharaoh. Do you know Moses wrote books that are dangerous today? Because Moses was taught something. He was covenanted and was taught Moses was going to be the next Pharaoh. It would have been Pharaoh Moses, not Ramesses. So Moses was already being prepared. And in that state, he wrote certain things. And those books are still being used in occultism today. But he met the God of heaven and changed his life. And he came and demonstrated a dimension. Do you know God already told Moses that I will harden Pharaoh's heart? I hope you know. So Moses didn't go and say, God, don't send me again. I, I'm tired of this disgrace. The information has already been given and he said i will make you a god 
the word and the anointing to make it happen happened and in the end they came out in a hurry out of egypt because when god says it there is the grace to make it happen great things the lord has spoken of us oh zion is up to us to believe him and know that god does not lie god does not lie god does not lie dear families listen to me i know the things that are happening in your various families but god does not lie you only cry when the book has not been opened you weep when there is no word if the speakings of god has come your direction then wipe your tears wipe your tears listen do you know why david was crying when his son was sick that he had with Bathsheba, he knew if god did not speak that child must die and god knew that if he speaks the child will live so god refrained from talking till the child died if god spoke it would be impossible for that child to die and god kept quiet and when he died david said no problem he got up and washed himself and comforted himself notice how in ancient times people will stay helpless then you will now hear in the seventh month in the fifth day the word of the lord came when the word of the lord comes that's it they watch themselves they stand up and start rejoicing they've not fought oh but they are already calculating how to share the land you this is your own whereas the giants they are sleeping imagine somebody sharing your property when you are still alive because the word already killed you David knew what he was doing when he stood before Goliath. He said, God just gave me bonus to make me a king. Oh, foolish giant. You are a giant and you are not wise. Don't you know it's the word of God that kills and, make a, and makes a lie? The word of God is against you. You are dead. Anything would have killed him. Not just a sling. Anything would have killed him. The word was already backing up everything. And all of a sudden, that guy died. Removed his head lifted it gave it to the birds there are things god has spoken to you go back and open your notebook before the troubles came when you started disbelieving god open the notebook and see what he told you did he not tell you by 2019 you would have entered certain dimensions and it's one year to the time and it doesn't look like it will ever happen brothers and sisters this my god this my god God is truly Jehovah Sharp Sharp. He can wake up overnight, shake himself from his throne and change your life. Yes, sir. Say, my God is able. Please say it. My God is able. Ah, apostle, but it's already been nine years delay. God can give you triplets overnight. Overnight. Overnight compress nine years to nine months healthy all of them will come out and god will say did i not tell you i can make it happen the bible never tells us jesus spent nine years in the nine months in the womb of mary there is nowhere in scripture where it was calculation of nine months no we just know that as soon as they left and went to where he could give birth mary gave birth i believe that God allowed that time just so that human beings would not start doing stupid things. But I believe Mary would have still been pregnant. Mary would not have that faith to believe that she can be pregnant and give birth to a bouncing baby boy in two weeks. And then also because he was subscribing to the law of process so that we may learn, Jesus grew. But there's no record in scripture that it was nine months expect unusual results in your life as you believe god i i cannot get usual results in my life no usual results mean you are scientific unusual results mean there is a finger there is a word upon your life there is a word upon your life expect it expect it unusual results unusual results by the word of god unusual ministry unusual business by the word of god look the testimony the lady shared happy i'm sure many of you didn't believe it that she said she was listening to 
um, 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 what they call it, a message at six percent. And I'm sure some of you will go and ask her later, confess, is it true? Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, my phone has almost died. I was on the trip. I held it. It started charging from my hand. Charging till it finished. I know some of you will not believe it. Something has happened to our generation. We have reduced ourselves back from true spirituality to a realm where we are so sensual and carnal we want to calculate how can a happen to b to make it c and god says the word plus anything is equal to what i want the word plus anything that's god's equation the word plus a failure can give birth to a man of god don't sit down and start asking god nonsense please listen we have misused this scripture wisdom is profitable to direct to endorse carnality and depravity of mind ah let's be wise let's be reasonable you keep being reasonable till life closes the door at you this journey is a journey for men and women of faith listen let me tell you the truth there are times you would think you had god but you'll find out it wasn't God. Don't be ashamed and let it not stop you from taking action the next time you hear that is God. Keep making the mistakes till you learn. God will protect you with his love and integrity. It's not easy for people to just derail like that. The sincerity of your heart will compel the mercy of God to guide you. Don't be afraid of making the mistake. That's how you learn. I'll be lying if I tell you every hearing God that I think I've had was really him. As I have grown, I found out that, ah, that other time, so it wasn't him. But it still doesn't matter. His grace and his mercy, you exercise yourself unto godliness. The fear of believing God has destroyed many people. I believe him today. If God tells me, tell Emeka, I will bless him. When I say Emeka, it doesn't have to fall down and roll. I have sent the word. If it never happens, it's because he did not engage it. He allowed the seed to be barren. But if Emeka believes that word, like Mary, he may not even know how the thing happens. The same word will now start scouting for the men that will make that word come to pass. Where is your house? In the realm of the spirit, it will take the word of God and you're believing it to make it your experience where are your children where are your well-behaved children not just in your brain in the realm of the spirit it takes faith to bring it where is the property of koinonia where is the headquarters of koinonia it's in the realm of the spirit it will take faith to bring it are we together apostle where is my job I've been eyeing civil defense. Take your eyes from civil defense and look on to Zion. Are we together? You look at civil defense, you'll be disappointed to your, to your own pain. I lift up my eyes onto the hills. Question, from whence cometh my help? He says, my help cometh from the Lord, the maker, not from my father, not from my uncle. He can use them, but my help comes from God. Say after me, my help comes from the Lord. So don't get up and start moving around the street like a fugitive, like someone who does not have help. You move around and say, look, life self. Look at the way life is working. Look at my only shoe. Look at this. Don't talk like that. The word of God is upon me. I may be weak now, but the word of God has declared that I'm strong. The word of God has declared that Gentiles come to my light. I believe it. In the name of Jesus, I believe. I expect the appearance of Gentiles. The just shall live by faith let me tell you what will happen to you when many people especially and mistakenly i have noticed a trend that many matured believers are throwing away the reality of walking by faith simply because of higher dimensions of revelation you find somebody saying this now and they say ah, ah you are still a baby christian you should have known that god will still do it you will leave the rules you will never get the result you must remain childlike there are times I walk around my room, I wake up in the night like a zombie. I'm just walking around in the name of Jesus. Joshua Selman, you are a royal diadem in the hands of the Lord. The favor of God is upon you. Koinonia is growing strong by the spirit of the living God. Lord, you spoke to me. You declared that this is my year of triumph. 
I won't say it is your year. If I say it's your own year of triumph, you can enjoy it and I may never enjoy it. I can carry my pride and sit down and by December 31st, the fact that the word came through me does not mean it's also not for me. That's why I listen to koinonia messages and I receive the prophecies because the word only passes through a man but it is for men. Are we together? The journey of faith. Are you walking by faith? Are you speaking by faith? Are you living by faith? Apostle, I'm only I'm 40 years now as a lady. Look at me. Which man will come to marry me? What did God tell you? God told me a good man is coming to get married to me. Then stay there. Stay there and die there. And let God apologize to you for lying to you. But stay. Let God apologize to you for lying to you. But stay there. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm teaching you how to walk by faith. Please don't sit down and be overly scientific and intellectual about your life. It won't happen that way. It won't happen that way. Let me tell you something. Um, the Lord spoke to me a particular season and said, I am bringing a particular number of people to sow into your life and to sow into the ministry. When the Lord told me, I said, Lord, this is your word. I believe it. Do you know I believe the Lord? And sometimes people will send me recharge card, 100 naira. I say, Lord, thank you. I celebrate your doing. You spoke to me. I'm seeing a performance. You don't just sit down and say, Lord, is he 100 naira you are talking about? Don't play games with me. I'm not a small child. No. Whether it is the fist or a finger, it's still God. So you celebrate it. Lord, if I, if I see a finger, then there must be a hand. If I see a hand, there must be a personality. Thank you for the finger because the hand is coming. And I tell you, true to God's word, true to God's word. Hallelujah. The Lord told me through the messages, he would send these things all over, the teachings all over, all around. I believed it. When he said it, I believed it. At that time, there was no possibility to see this, but I believed it. Right now, from taxi drivers to men of God to churches everywhere, they say koinonia messages. They say, Kai, the guy is lucky. He's just intelligent. This is not intelligence. This is the foolishness of believing God versus his power that responds when men believe him. The same way God can speak to you and say, dance for one hour and receive your husband. I say, God, please don't, don't make a fool out of me. I'm not, I'm not stupid. God will say, that's my word for you. It's not the word for everybody. And you will be dancing like a fool for one hour. And then the devil will make sure that one mocker comes to knock. Ah, are you okay? This one that you are shouting, I'm fine. What are you doing? Dancing. For what? Forget it. They <laughs> say, hey, church, church, church is turning people into stupid things. You see that? They are like that guy that told the king in Samaria, he said, that told Elisha, he said, I, I, even if God will open the heaven, will we be able to do this? He said, you will see it, you will never eat of it. Hallelujah. There is nothing God tells me that I will not believe him. I'm not afraid. If I find out he's not the one, I will say, okay, God, I believe that I thought it was you. Thank God there is restoration in the kingdom. So it doesn't make any difference. But I will keep flexing my muscles. What has God told you that the devil is about to cheat you now and tell you that it was not God? What has God told you that the devil is about to tell you, oh, your family, forget all those people? Can you believe God? Don't ask how it will happen. Just say, Lord, I believe you. Pray in one minute before I take the second session quickly. Pray, Lord, I believe you. You have spoken this concerning me. I believe you. I believe you. Pray. I lift my voice to you you're the awesome God I lift my voice to you awesome God awesome God I lift my hands to you you're the awesome God I lift my hands to you Lord declared
said unto Abraham that he will be the father of many nations. The Lord declared to Abraham that in thee shall the families of the earth be blessed. Abraham was old, stricken. Sarah was old, stricken. Had passed menopause as it is in the manner of women. But they had faith. He counted him faithful. The Bible says he wavered not at his faith through unbelief. Unbending. Unshakable persuasion. God may call you to be a prophet. And for 10 years you will not see one vision. Not even one dream. Stay there. Lord you said the prophetic office is for me. I believe you. Every word that God has spoken concerning me. I write it down and once in a while when you see my notebooks you don't like them because some of them are old but I would never throw them I will use gum sellotape fix them because those things control my destiny do you know when God spoke to me about koinonia 2005 and I pick it and I look at it Lord you have done this and that in the name of Jesus I trust you this is what will happen one day we will stand like this in koinonia's international headquarters I will remind you I will remind you people say wow this guy is so lucky you mean people like you like that nobody is lucky everybody is faithful you push your faith until you make it happen <sighs> number two we'll stop somewhere and pray the journey of faith is the first number two I title it the track record number two the track record the track record you want to become great in the kingdom you not only trust God enough or alone you must have a track record most people don't know what a track record is in the spirit in the physical there is how they can get information about you is that true because there is a track record they can get have you been involved in any criminal activity have you been involved in this how old are you and they try to check with the police have they filed any case with this with that okay we can allow you go to any nation because you are not associated with any terrorist group there was a track record of being a well-behaved citizen in your country when they bring out your information and they find out in 10 years you were in prison five times are we together now and this happened they would detain you and say no 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 we don't consider this guy healthy to be lifted to that nation that's how it is in the spirit let me tell you something god does not use your past but he uses your track record a track record is is what validates that you are qualified it is still by grace but that qualification is based on capacity track record this is the hardest part of the journey to greatness establishing a track record in the spirit a track record of godliness a track record of prayer a track record of fasting a track record of consistency a track record of patience a track record of endurance years ago i saw a gentleman who graduated from nda and I saw his calendar they made a calendar he was well you know in his apparel and they wrote his name whatever it is that they wrote and then under like a caption they just wrote a testimony of endurance testimony because from day one as soon as he entered NDA they started kicking him up and down giving him room to sweep he cried and saw his mother waving him goodbye and now that guy was at the other side of his pain rejoicing with his badge and he sees one civilian who has not been trained try to stop him and he says frog jump quickly let me show you that i have been authorized are we together and the civilian i will beat you and he says there's only one part of your body i can touch and you will die not fall down i was shown in the military camp that men are like machines there is one part of their body you touch they fall down and die you are there bragging because you are big i'm not just wearing uniform for nothing the uniform means i've been given secrets i went through things that's how you come out and the devil looks like you and thinks every young man is just like that i will rubbish you at least and he says ah, that's what you are doing to me he said i will do it again and again 
because I was shown something about you I didn't know you were this weak my staying power there was a track record if you don't have a track record you cannot be committed the true grace of the kingdom first Samuel chapter 22 and verse 1 and 2 the Bible speaks about David the journey from his exit from Saul running away to the throne he was in a cave that the Bible identifies as Adullam it was a place of dissertation it was a place of rejection the Bible says therefore David departed thence and escaped they wanted to kill him but he ran to a cave called Adullam and remained there like a fugitive and a vagabond but a man was creating a track record a track record notice in the Bible Moses left Egypt and was in the wilderness a track record the Bible just tells us about Elijah Elijah the Tishbite he was not born an adult there was a track record look at John the Baptist who came in the spirit and the power of Elijah he was in the wilderness certain things were being taught him there he was eating locusts and wild honey until his season of appearing what of jesus from age 12 ladies and gentlemen we never hear anything about jesus again until age 30 18 years of silence read your bible from age 12 you don't read one thing about jesus again until age 30 what happened for 18 years there are all kinds of theories some postulate that he went to india to go and learn under buddha some postulate that he went to uk i mean all kinds of postulations here and there but one thing i know is that at age 30 whilst john was 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 baptizing people here comes jesus from wherever he had been and he came out and he said behold the lamb do you have the track record many pastors want the loyalty of people without a track record who has tested you has god tested you with money has god tested you with power has god tested you with the anointing has god tested you with failure don't just sit down and expect to have a large church out of nowhere some of these our balloon expectations is why we are disappointed no matter how fiery you are you will not escape the test that creates a track record Let me show you something I found that really blessed me. Give us Hebrews 11, please. Hebrews 11, and we'll read from verse 24 to 29. Hebrews 11 and 24. We are going to pray. Hebrews 11, 24 to 29. 24. Read it with me, please. One, two, read. By faith, Moses when he was come to years adulthood now refused to be called pharaoh's refused to be called the son of pharaoh's daughter 25 choosing hold on choosing how can a man choose affliction choosing rather to suffer affliction so that he can prove that he's on god's side it's a choice than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season 26 esteeming the reproach of christ of christ's greater riches than the treasures in egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward we are reading to 29 by faith he forsook egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he what endured as seeing him who is invisible through faith he kept the passover and the sprinkling of blood lest you know this and that and that and then 29 the bible says by faith he passed through the red sea as by dry land which the egyptians are saying to do were drowned by faith he made a choice how can a man choose to suffer and he says by faith track record you would have bribed and you would have been rich since 2006 but by faith you chose that i will walk in integrity and it costed you some of our parents today would have been multi-millionaires if only they signed one signature they refused to sign that signature and for 20 years they are paying the price it's a track record the realm of the spirit pays attention to your track record 
is God speaking to us track record when you finish a great meeting and God helps you 30 people in the fellowship and all of a sudden you finish and when you are alone you get down on your knees Lord thank you for the privilege you gave me the privilege to lead these people it's a track record the heavens are witnessing it remember you are the one who is going to be great but God is watching a track record somebody gives you 100 naira another person gives you 1 million God sees how you thank him for two of them you just throw the envelope with 100 naira and say Lord this is money thank you he's watching your heart you bring all of them together and say Lord whether it is 100 naira or it is 10 million I thank you you are the doer he's watching you removing the tithe when no one is supervising you it's a track record many of us do not know that God accredits men that's why you will see certain people you think should rise and God says leave them there you better leave him there leave the people there because God knows what he's seeing koinonia fast and you are inside all of a sudden ah bring me yam add exos bring ketchup and you just eat and belch and then come out with your mouth dry track record one day you will tell one spirit leave and that spirit says you you you, you think that everybody's an idiot there are many men of god that don't give they say give but they don't give there is no track record The last time they gave tight was five years ago. No track record. Hmm. Are we together? You need track record. You need a track record in the realm of the spirit. Somebody gives you a new phone. Ah, this cheap phone. 5,000. Lord, is this all you could? I prayed for two weeks. And God is watching your heart. It's a track record. A track record of ingratitude you are not ready for the iPhone it will never come are we together there are many pastors three members four members and you see them preaching with their heart and loving God do you have transport money there are just five of you would you mind coming to eat in our house since you are five we prepared meals enough and the Lord is saying look at him look at this you see him preparing to talk to five people as if he's preaching in a convention and God says that's my son not that you sit down and snore away then one day they are invited you say is a big church or small say, ah 1002 you say you mean it ah let's go and buy suto because God is in that church you see those kinds of things is why many people never rise whether I'm counseling what do you know when we round off now and I stand to counsel people I give it the same seriousness because it is someone's destiny do you have a track record of trust can God trust you what have you done with what he gave you he gave you a little level of wisdom what have you done with it he gave you a little level of influence what did you do with it he gave you intelligence God never gives you a harvest he gives you a seed and watches your management of it You need a track record and part of establishing that track record may require you going through what i call the furnace of affliction <laughs> you see ba this furnace of affliction you see is not every negative thing that is demonic let me show you something second corinthians please we'll find somewhere to pray second corinthians chapter 12 from verse 8 to 10 please quickly second corinthians chapter 12 from verse 8 to 10 let me show you what happens here the fullness of affliction now let me tell you i don't believe god causes tragedies no he doesn't but i believe god can take advantage of every situation and produce glory out of it watch this the goal before i read this the goal of this season of creating a track record is to reveal to you the weaknesses and the limitations of your human nature outside of the agency of the spirit 
the goal is to strengthen your dependence on the holy spirit you will see how weak how frail how incapacitated you are as a person outside of the assistance of god dependence on the holy spirit no longer becomes something you do just because you are in ministry you have learned by your passing through the furnace of affliction by your passing through these seasons creating a track record it is seldom um a very painful process i don't think there are exceptions it is at this time that you will pray and pray and pray and nothing will happen yet you can minister to somebody somebody comes for counseling immediately a word will come as soon as you leave them you say god what is this and the heavens look like they're quiet there is a track record this is where men are separated from the boys this is where capacity is built the end product of this track record is called an exchange where his strength swallows up your weakness where you are alive but no longer by your strength you are alive by another agency that is not human now you are ready for the throne now you are ready for glory there is no level of persecution that will shift your faith again you have come to a point where you have gained stature in the spirit don't be afraid of establishing the track record it is painful many times embarrassing discomforting creating a track record in the spirit will sting your ego beyond your imagination endure the pain despise the mockery god is doing something with your life gather your pain and your shame together because you will need them they will strengthen you be careful what you call embarrassment that will be your trophy tomorrow go through the pain track record are we together say track record that one day you can say once upon a time when i started ministry we did not even have 10 naira to buy pure water yet we loved god and god and men can testify do you know listen when you see people become loyal to a man and to the teachings it's not just because you are anointed alone there is a track record are we together you can say oh remember when we used to meet in the rain and there is a human agent that says yes so if somebody now says oh pastors are doing church just for money there will be a system of defense for you because there was a track record someone will say i remember emeka i remember him I remember us having crusade in the rain where we shouldn't do it but he still did it no I testify that this person loves God when it comes to a track record it's not only God that testifies men must testify that there is a track record people want to invite you to a big ministry they will ask questions who knows about this person which other ministries have invited him did you behave well did you preach well were you respectful are you somebody who is matured and honoring by that track record a door will be open don't trivialize the passion to create track record you can ruin a great future when you refuse yourself let me tell you track record is a very you create it in a way that most times will be shameful because god will expose you to the eyes of all men they will see everything about you they will see your weaknesses they will see your limitations they will see your mistakes and you'll be saying lord why are you allowing people to see this and god will say so that there will be witnesses when i lift you witnesses there was a reason why god wanted people to see rahab he would have quickly preached to rahab and they would have come to meet a renewed rahab no meet the rahab sitting on the fence as a prostitute so that when i convert her and she becomes the great grandmother of jesus i can by her life show that i can use anybody listen for many years i wondered why the bible sometimes can be vulgar 
you will see informations that sorry to use the word explicit contents some contents in the when you really read some things in the bible you'll be like kai did god intend for children to read this i just think this is me as a human being lord this information is it really necessary did you have to put it there why will god sometimes god will talk about the dealings of people maybe with women or with some and god can go into remember all scriptures was inspired of the holy ghost it can be so meticulous to capture information that you are like ah, ah god we are adults we already know what you mean do you know why god does that so that the excellency of power may be of god and not of us so that when they see you tomorrow they say ah, ah, is saul also one of the prophets let me tell you what for you today is shame tomorrow will be your system of defense did you hear what i said yes don't be ashamed everybody knows you are a single dad everybody knows you are a single mom and people look at you when god begins to use you and somebody says are you sure this lady did not do divination somebody will stand up and say i knew how when she could not take care of two children three children yet she loved god creating a track record will force you to be naked before everybody sometimes the judges in your season of track record are your own enemies and god will be the one to keep a chair for them to sit down ah. <laughs> ah. i know you don't like what i'm saying but it's true sometimes they are driving you out of the house with your wife and all of a sudden your sarcastic neighbors are there watching you are saying god but did you have to allow the neighbors to see our shame and god says just watch what i'm doing it's a movie there's part one part two part three part four part four is when you return back with your family in power and glory and you come to greet the neighbors and they say no 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 it's a lie when you see the enemies of a man testifying about god's goodness a track record made it happen why am i telling you this some of you right now listen listen some of you are in the most uncomfortable situations in your life your ego has been stung everything in your life that represents honor seems like it has been taken away from you i bring you a word of hope weep not god is using your life to create a track record lord why will i serve you and be crying and then you make me cry before men so that when you smile they will know the god of heaven took you through this or that because some of you the testimony of your life people will never believe it when they see what god has done they can take it for granted and say you were just lucky and so god will say if it is your church members that see you they can say it is church manipulation but god will allow a non-believing person that you know doesn't lie to see it and he's the one who will stand up and say no i know there was a reason why nicodemus came to jesus by night as a witness there had to be a witness in the, among the scribes and the Sanhedrin that he was God. Do you know Jesus hung naked? Everybody say a track record. Jesus, the son of the living God, crying. Should I trust that kind of person? Jesus, are you that weak? You are in Gethsemane. What business do you have to do with tears? Are you not the one who should wipe tears? And the father kept silent. A track record imagine the throne without the cross track record they put a crown of thorn upon his head you would think that the power of the world should throw them away but the thorns entered and real blood came out track record they whipped him 40 stripes save one do you know that they did not hang jesus with a covering he was naked the word please abba father talk to us have you lost your power did somebody vote you out of the throne and heaven was silent here's what jesus said eloi eloi if jesus didn't say this we would think that oh he was a macho man jesus cried in frustration eloi eloi lamak sabakanai father i i understand the man forsaking me but why have you forsaken me you would have said jesus don't fall our hand the father was silent said into your hands I commend my spirit Jesus died life died life died when he died he went to hell 
all the demons were on him their creator they were on him to force him to bow look at the humiliation he went through it was a furnace of affliction but hallelujah when the legal claims of justice were paid the bible says he shook them he made a public show of them and all of a sudden he went to hades the place of the dead and preached to the departed saints and opened the gates and said follow me he had to be the firstborn among them that were resurrected and the bible says jesus resurrected and said all hail i know that i've gone through adulam but now is the time for the manifestation maybe we'll take that one next week no greatness listen this dimension your fasting will never take it away from you believe what i'm telling you master in the you know the millennial kingdom when you come to reign can you grant that my son two of my sons will sit at your left and right jesus didn't say the position is not vacant he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism there is a price listen do you know why god judges you when you talk about certain people even in the secret it's not that god is wicked that track record is a voice in the spirit are we together now ah what is there with papa deboe what is there all these men jare there's nothing special and that track record like the blood of abel cries to heaven lord someone is mocking your anointed they mocked the prophet and said you bald-headed man look small children was god so unmerciful she bears came out and devoured the children he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm but there is a track record koinonia we are going to pray please help that lady listen some of you right now you are in the black book of your entire family you are wondering why do they all hate me what wrong have i done god has exposed your weaknesses and your flaws before everybody that's the same way he will expose your glory too he won't just expose your weakness and leave you everybody saw you without results i'm proud of everything in my life today it's one of the reasons why people believe what god has done if i came from another city into zaria people may probably think uh, everything god did he did in this city it was in the presence of all and sundry and i give him all the praise please hear me don't cry just because the landlord is chasing you out of the house you trusted god don't worry you may endure the shame but the day you will still come to that same place and build an estate even the most hardened unbeliever will say i know this man i know this man i know this man let me tell you something years ago people said a lot of things about me and you know i don't talk too much about all those things but some of them men in fact most of them if not all were well-meaning sincere people just because of how very controversial the dimensions of god in my life was you know and people said all kinds of things and sometimes those things were painful some were wrong some were insincere you know and so on and so forth people just said all kinds of things and then many years later i remember when i used to do counseling some of those same families that said very some maybe even very nasty things some of them now did not know that i was the same person they just kept hearing this person this person apostle apostle and some of those same families came for counseling i could identify them and you see them come with wine and say man of god what a privilege i've heard about you and i say please sit down sir please sit down ma sir if you know what is happening in my life and this thing is 10 years old i say so when you were shouting at me you also had problems in your life when you were acting as if nothing was wrong with you and I pray for them with all my heart and bless them and they get down on their knees I say God you <laughs> you don't have to worry and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles they don't last always help me for 
And he will wipe your tears away And if your heart is broken Tonight, just lift your hands and say Oh, I know that I can make it What comes no to matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. With Jesus, I can take it. With Jesus, I can take it. With Him, I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way. Listen to me. Can anything good come out of your life? Yes, sir. Apostle, you don't know what I've done with my life. Can anything good come out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can anything good come out? Can God change my financial life? I know you are crying now. There's no food to eat. Don't give up. It looks like God is not with you. Hear me, Koinonia. It is the betting of glory. There is a relationship between death and glory. Why did God allow this pain, this shame happen? It is the birthing of glory. The Bible says, hear me. It says, for our light afflictions, which worketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory. Our light afflictions, which is but for a moment. But for a moment. Listen. God is producing glory out of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight, after this program, I want you to call anybody who is about to give up on God and say, Lord, I'm tired. I've done my best. I'm tired. I have, I have kept the faith. Anything you hear, believe it. Tell the person, don't give up. You are at the edge. It's called the track record. For 10 years, yes, sir, is the track record. For 20 years, as Abraham, 25 years track record. Moses, 40 years. Jesus, 30 years. It's not unusual. But as soon as Zion travails, she shall put foot. Listen. Let me speak to you. Everything God told you, you have not seen one of it come to pass. He's watching you. Satan is foolishly engineering men to laugh at you. But the day God will turn aside and turn around your life, even you, you will be surprised. It was God's servant, Bishop Oyedeko, that shared how that when the ministry started, great ministry now, touching people across Africa and the world. But then when they started, people would not just come pastor. For whatever reason, a very anointed man, signs and wonders, epochal revelations, but people would not come. And one time they were praying, engaging in warfare, intense warfare in the place of prayer. And the Holy Spirit asked him to come out. And he came out. And then after he had moved a distance, the Holy Spirit told him, turn and face, you know, look at the building and all of that. And then he saw a thick layer covering it. And this was what the Lord told him. He said, this is the stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry everything you do they see it in a bad light and he commanded it to go and it left and all of a sudden there was there was explosion kenneth e hagin teaching on his encounter with jesus his book about his encounter with jesus he gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and jesus he said at a point when the lord jesus christ appeared to him jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions all of a sudden a devil like an imp a short devil just appeared in between them and was jumping up and down you know distracting kenneth hagin kenneth hagin said he thought jesus christ being there would stop that spirit from coming Yet the spirit was there jumping up and down. And Jesus kept talking. He seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing. But Kenneth Hagin was affected. And Jesus kept speaking. Kenneth Hagin said it worried him for a long time. Until he got angry in his spirit. 
and the holy spirit gave him a strategy and he commanded that spirit he said in the name of jesus i rebuke you and he felt and, and left and this was what jesus told him according to kenneth Hagin. he said if you did not do anything about it i would not have done anything all that it is to be done i have done how can Ashiria is nonsense the day you get up, you the best way to predict your future is to create it. Create it. Create it. Don't sit down waiting for it to come. Create it. Listen, I don't believe in circumstances. I create any circumstance I want. I create it. The Bible tells us that the word is framed. 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 Your world, your environment, your reality is framed by the word of God. Obadiah 1 17 it says and upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of Jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of God's people. And then he says that there shall be deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down necessarily. It's not just manifesting and coughing out things. No. The context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis between you and any force that keeps you bound. Are we together? There are things that have held our lives, brothers and sisters. And it must let us go. You must believe this. Don't sit down. I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time. I came with my spirit angry. We are going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively. But then I want you to know. The reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere. And I tell you, if you let those spirits, they will wreck your life. Wreck your life. There are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But they are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No. It is there before you arrived. Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble you were in the loins of eternity and now you came and participated tonight i want you to believe god i want you to believe god brothers and sisters there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle i believe in breakthrough breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed where limits are taken kabbalataya limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken i don't know what has held you down you must break this limit don't sit carelessly looking some of you have some results we all have different results but is that the best god can fast track your life that between now and december 31st he will put a new song in your mouth a song of praise in your heart he said many will see and fear and put their trust in him Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought the mouth of, of lions, shot the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness. Let's look at one scripture. Romans 4, 18. I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith. We just finished a series on faith. Please, I encourage everyone as God grants you grace. Make sure you get those series and listen to them. But I just want to challenge our faith a little even as we prepare to pray. 
There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. Shabarato Kasubaya. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. Sharato Kaparata Katatata. Leketekete. How forcible are right words. Sekatalatos. Empretoketelekata. Siketereto supatalalaya. Dekatash kabarita da bada bada bada. Secreto si bada da bada da bada. Prante katalakoto supata. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying He's giving people testimonies. It's like the Spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are. Shabala rabala rabala. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to, be, to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. <sighs> My spirit is fired up. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. It's the anointing that comes with the office. I feel it on me right now. Seketo sheta reto kaso da preta shia daba lembre to sata brashi kete brata kata barata badaba lebra to shia. A lady with a breast lump, a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself, check yourself. A lady with a breast lump, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast. The, of your breast. the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope have taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding. That compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence. Based on an understanding. The end product of believing is conviction. When you act it, the name given to that action is faith. Listen, you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith.
be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps so if you are here and you cannot stand be ready to stand don't just sit down saying well let's see what will happen you will go back home on that wheelchair you are deaf you are blind whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are angry in your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed I've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a monster seed a monster seed is sown that means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a monster seed then you can say to this mountain he was not talking about the size of faith if you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a monster seed then you will do great things Are we together? Tonight, I want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you. I want you to refuse. Listen, listen. There is grace for increase. I feel it in this place. I, I just want you to believe me. You know, sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some, we live in an environment of such unbelief. I know the grace for increase. Listen, increase is an unction. Honor is a mantle. It can come upon a man. You can carry it bodily don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? Are we together? You are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life. Face the business that brought you and be serious. Don't sit down laughing at others, criticizing others. Others will be taking radical steps of faith. Don't sit down there being cynical, laughing at them. No. Connect and open up your spirit. Man of God, open up for your ministry. There can be more. There can be more. There can be more. The pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going. There is a system that bails you out. Even favor, let me tell you, this favor that we think is very free, there are laws. There is an unction that brings favor. It is a manifestation of favor that is effortless. But there is a system, an exact system, a science to its coming into your life. Hallelujah. Don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering, can God change me? Are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over? Listen. There are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom. I'm rounding up now. There are three platforms for reception. I've taught this, but let me just touch it quickly. The first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God. When you meet God, the presence of God alone, listen, will leave certain deposits. It's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. There is a transfer. So when you meet God, there is a deposit. Listen, 
The second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom. There are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws. You don't have to pray. The moment the laws are accurately um, operated, the power is released immediately. You don't have to be a Christian. But the third dimension, listen, the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen, men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me. You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God. Answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith. Their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God. When, when Saul came where Samuel was, just that atmosphere implicated him. He prophesied. All kinds of things happened to him. You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar, but he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see, like cobwebs, is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants. Mysteries and covenants. Agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen. I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight. You are not alone. There is grace for you. Rise up on your feet. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Say na 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 You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Before we begin to minister I want you to lift your voice and tell God everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say God knows open your mouth Lord step into my finances Lord step into my business Lord step into my family faithful God hallelujah Lord, 
Lord, take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening. Take away the barrier, oh God, stopping my influence. Enlarge my course. prayers Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Shikepa go soto bakata. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. You reign, you reign, hello, you reign. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 21 people. An impartation 
supernatural strategies. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen. The Lord is speaking to me. And this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Listen. Two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God. Kaduna state. Kaduna state. I see an anointing. Only Kaduna state. Shabarapakata. Embreketeta. Kaduna State, a miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, there is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shaka Toda Parata. Reketekete. Help them, please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name. Stephanie. Please let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You're like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie. Who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says, I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time. Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. 
Now lift your hands. I want to pray. I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives. Forces of darkness. The Lord is bringing deliverance to your family. Your family. The Lord is bringing deliverance. I'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family. And the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. Right now to the family. Right now to the family. The Lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family. A major deliverance to the family. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. As I begin to pray for you. All those devils that has tied the lives of people. It doesn't mean you are possessed. It's not an insult. You may not even know. You may be minding yourself just like you're standing now. I'm going to command those devils. They must go. They are not only going to live your life. They must live your family. Are we together? Listen. Some of you brought many prayer lists. Just one spirit living will produce all that testimony. Believe me. Believe me. Lift your hands. My heart, my soul, I give to you. I bow to you, my Savior and King. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your anointing to deliver, to set free. There are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they must go. I want you to bring them out now. They must go. They must go now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. You'll be surprised to see what happens. Kai, 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 Kai. I see spirits of delay. 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 Spirits that have held men down. All kinds of spirits. Father, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, Lord, as your people shout, may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough, 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 flowing sound, my flowing sound. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Now I command those demons, go now, go now, go now. Go now. Lift your voice and begin to command every spirit, every devil. Help them, please. Go now. I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people. You must go now, inside and outside. I command you, inside and outside. Bring them out. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice. I command you. You must go now, now, by the anointing of the Spirit. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their breakthrough. Lift your hands while you pray. Atasileka prosuto pariata katusha. Prende kabrato soko tu baleyakata. I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them. And the Lord is saying to unlock those chains. Unlock those chains. That anointing will come on certain people right now. Father, I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are. Any place in your life. That has been chained and tied. Right now in Jesus name. I command those gates be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take it, take it, toss it, toss it, toss Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains, be broken. In the name of Jesus. Chains, be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft, 
against the lives of people against destinies you must go now Mr. Man lift your hands this man lift your hands the Lord is saying I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night right now receive that anointing receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ bring them out I'm hearing the name charity charity we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now charity 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 I'm hearing the name charity charity the Lord wants to bring breakthrough for charity the second overflow there are two people God is touching there the second overflow I see the anointing coming on two people the overflow the roadside in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen something is going to happen here now ushers I want you to be sensitive I'm going to pray for certain people you will have to help them the grace for speed listen is going to come on some people physically they will find themselves trying to run help them so that it's not like they, they won't be able to control themselves it's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody lord in the name of jesus guys be sensitive please in the name help them please it's already happening that's the instruction god is giving me an anointing will come on you physically you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough right now lord i release that anointing give men speed give men speed give men speed 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 by the power of the holy ghost give men speed run like elijah help them run like elijah help her help her run like elijah run like elijah grace for speed i release it i release it from my spirit i release it grace for speed no more stagnation no more retrogression run with the grace of elijah overtake the chariots of ahas hallelujah charity charity are you married the lord wants to give you two miracles huh number one god wants to settle you maritally do you believe that yes sir huh yes sir second what are you doing i just finished school i'm a graduate now huh i'm a graduate now you are a graduate yes, sir. i'm looking at you and i'm seeing abuja huh yes sir abuja yes what is abuja i have a fiance yeah, you have somebody there. Yes. Sir. That's the person to marry you. Okay, Did you sir. tell me? No, sir. Did you tell me? No. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at you. I said God will settle you Amen. maritally. Amen. Huh? And then God will give you a job. Amen. Supernatural job. Amen. Because it's your desire. Amen. God will give you a job. Amen. The Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. I'm opening a new chapter over your life. The past. Uh -uh, your future has to change. It, the, what the past is, is not a good testimony. And the Lord is saying, I'm giving you a new chapter. A new chapter. Come, my dear, in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a job. May he connect you maritally. Huh? Is your name Charity? Is your name Charity? In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Delay ends now. Delay ends now. I pray for your auntie. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I minister to one more case before I pray. I want to pray specifically for barren people. I'm going to pray that before we do a lot of other things. Before we call the sick out. Thank God there are many hands today. And so we're able to do a very quick walk. 
Ladies, when I count three, just shout, I receive. Don't worry. Follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, two, three. There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door of breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're mighty in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I see this thing falling on many men. Jesus, it is your word. You have released this word. I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare, let it enter like an arrow into the life of men. Right now, take it. Receive that grace right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Grace, grace. Strange establishment. Doors opening. Doors opening. In their own accord. Help them. Doors opening. I put you in a platform spiritually. Where you experience speed and establishment. In the name of Jesus. Help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. My God. Be established. Be established. Be established. Be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the Spirit. 
there is an anointing to pray for the barren come please all those whether man woman if you are married look don't come out here if you are not married why are they here why are they all here you must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying Look at this. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? The gate. Open up the door. Open up the gate. The gate. Listen. I, will, I have to pray for you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that, we'll pray for the sick generally. We have a lot to do. Don't lose touch of this. Don't come for koinonia and then sit down. This is not a museum. Let your heart be connected. Because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to be very fast. I'm seeing... Listen. I'm seeing something like a bird. Is jumping out of a lady now. One person here. I don't know who that person is. But the Lord is asking that until that happens... Uh, like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child no matter what the spirit is no matter what the issue is fibroid infertility low sperm count whatever i don't care what the name is it must live right now in the name of jesus please shift very quickly as i lay my hands on you it is done receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace now go and carry your miracle child madam carry your miracle baby carry it now carry it now my god i tell you i see babies literally in the realm of the spirit carry it now carry it now carry it right now carry it right now Miracle, 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 miracle. Shata da 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 balada. Regete gete gete. There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shaba la da ba la da ba. Reke te ke te. Embro to ko to ba la ba la ba. Shaba la da ba la da ba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace. Receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God. Testimonies. Wombs opening. Fertility be restored, receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. By the 
anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Bring it. Please. In the name of Jesus. 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 Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 Shebara do bara 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 bara. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Eko to shebara do bara. The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now, so that you can carry your baby. Your child out, out of her now. Return with your miracle child now. Miracle child, miracle child, miracle child. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it ends now. Power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Shake it, amen, and rush. Keep praying in the spirit. Don't just watch. Miracles, miracles. Miracles. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. The Lord is anointing you. Receive that anointing now. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka para toka toka tele baba baba. for you I want a woman to come up yes. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant you have been having nightmares somebody comes to you in the night you have you even wake up shouting you've not been able to sleep there is a pregnant woman here with that situation God wants to set you free please where are you if you care for you can come and God will set you free right now you are pregnant but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams like a nightmare Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. 
la kurata subrege di balaraba emre kotosh kalabaria da subrati shikaria rendo salebrati shikaria di balaraba ambroto subrotu shobre de gedi balaraba ah hallelujah kai i'm seeing something that is not nice I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living a real object please who is that i have to pray for you like i said if you have the courage there's nothing to be ashamed what who is this one why is she here coughing out no 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 don't bring her in jesus name you okay come in jesus name it is done the lord sets you free by the power of the holy spirit i need to pray for that lady honestly this is a serious thing in fact it's not just one i'm seeing two of you come and stand here something it looks like a worm but it's bigger than it you see it it comes out and goes back on its own who is that you're the one god bless you for your courage can you celebrate her don't be afraid see look let me tell you this is this is like a spiritual hospital so this is not a place immediately i saw it even me i honestly i my body was doing me one kind but i thought you have to say this is bad it's like a doctor madam Kai. and you love god oh. don't be afraid huh do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you, you are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm seeing. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows, probably you were trained by white men or she speaks very intelligently, but everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will, goes back at will. For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, my hands. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you. And go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ. This old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. 
over in the name of Jesus over in the name of Jesus is over in the name of Jesus there's one mama here the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people there's one mama here I'm seeing in a vision the power of God will land on you 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 may not even be expecting it not everybody this, this is an, like an elderly woman but I'm seeing an anointing right now wherever you are father something will land it's like fire it will land on one mama now supernatural grace you will start laying hands on the sick oh that's the woman there help her help her please bring her here supernatural anointing supernatural anointing for the for barrenness look at this look at this this is an elderly woman for god's sake Shera tabaroto koto baradia, lembra bata tatso kedia, ekara takata latotia. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? He's here, but I can't locate her. Now. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? Wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure? She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you're not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. 
let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now in the name of jesus christ i pray amen now please we're going to be very fast you are here for yourself you are not married you are standing for something. in the name of jesus christ supernatural miracle now we are going to be very fast you can see it's past nine but there are so many things we need to do we are going to do two things at the same time all those who are here trusting god for any miracle any miracle aside from barrenness except if you have another thing i don't care what it is please you are going to come there are men of god here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly it's a miracle service now look at this i want you to organize yourself uh those outside oh, hold on please hold on overflow two just walk right to the front you don't have to come here overflow to the whole of those occupying the roadside just walk right to the front of your your stage there overflow one here just walk right to the front here all those who are here you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for i know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with god go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something i should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone who just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand there have been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just i don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you we are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join a jimmy promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol the, so that don't relay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we're going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father was standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the holy ghost is there he's representing us and he will touch you while that is happening concurrently please your miracle um uh your prayer request 
pass it ushers if you can connect yourself i know that there are not many of you protocol you can help them please pass your prayer request if someone sent a text to you now you can copy it quickly please pass your prayer request while laying hands on you if they give you a prophetic word receive it please guys don't waste time on one person let's just do it fast jesus will give you praise I have no other God but you. Now, I have no other God but you. Right now, and you have done what no man has done. Please, as they pray for you, just quietly go back to your seat. Rejoice in. Go back to your seat. Check yourself.
quickly pass your prayer requests. I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason. The Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone? Those outside, there's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one, and then... Um, Ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because as I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. Just lift up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. For you, uh, Aya. Oh, let Freddy Osi from Beliete Salioste. Some of my worship people here, the Lord will place upon you an unction for worship, a strong unction. David, down the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing, an anointing is to come upon you. Pare supreting da ilosi predia. Rekito fiesta kila handa ha Bora kete shubelenda pragadose Rekete gabaka kokosho ke palagana Renda pa freia so palenda ha Resa profilesta kalionde Barasoko palagada I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground It will come upon the feet of many now 
upon the feet of many. The fire of God will come upon your feet. The fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire a quickening. My God. Balio friesa kiata la ronte. Barus itateli. Bo grakishti valande kalevose. Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of us. Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. And as we worship you, we build your throne. And as we worship you, Jesus, and take, take your, your place. We'll hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside. We are going to pray on the request now. Pastor Pete is going to lead us. Pastor Sajex, please help me since you're the only one here. We are praying for your request. I want you to believe God. Stretch your hands over this place. And I want you to begin to pray in the spirit, everybody. Stretch your hands. You are praying in the spirit. We may not be able to minister directly to everyone. But I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. 
they have written their own requests understanding the mystery of the scribes that whatever is written has a spiritual significance father in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men the angels in revelations chapter 8 that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of god right now by the power of god let those angels move swiftly in the name of jesus an angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers. And the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy in the name of Jesus every prayer written in this ground upon this mountain it is answered in the name of jesus amen and amen hallelujah give jesus praise give jesus praise aside from those they are still praying for peace everybody rise up Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you, and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance. Receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everything dead in your life. I don't care what and I don't care how long. In the name of the one who raised from the dead. I command that thing to come back to life. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it 
every student here hear me i program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of jesus we change it here right now believe god we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we banish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hands may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of jesus i force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of jesus i don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed i declare their prayers answer tonight i declare their prayers answer tonight i pray for you listen there is a mantle of honor upon this house and if you belong to this family it should be evident in your life and in case it's not yet working, like a programming in a computer, like an antivirus, I place that mantle of honor upon you. May it shield you from shame. May it, may it shield you from shame. 
Hallelujah. Every spiritual life that has died here, no more passion for the things of God, no more passion for prayer, no more passion for the word of God. I plant in you a fresh passion tonight. Fresh passion tonight. We're rounding up. Every family represented here that has not had a reason to smile this year. It's been tears and tears from home. Every time they call you from home, one episode of bad luck. May this be the first good news you will hear. Good news of breakthrough. Good news of increase. Good news of speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever rises up to find you, may the God that I serve, even in the secret, may he fight them. We're rounding up. I pray for you. Barrenness or its kind looming around your life, looming around your environment whether in your body, whether in your finances, whether in the works of your hands, in your ministry, in your business, I pray for you. The water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree, I introduce that water into your life. Therefore, I prophesy to you, in the name of Jesus, be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. Multiply. Replenish. Subdue. And may you command absolute dominion. Absolute dominion. Help them please. Every strange nightmare. Strangers roaming around your sleep. Not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy. Disturbing you, oppressing you, sleeping with you, manipulating your dreams. Confusing you, you don't know whether it's God speaking or it's the devil. In the name of Jesus, I banish those strangers from your life forever. I banish those strangers from your life forever. the name of Jesus Christ and I pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west, to the north, to the south. Whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level, I prophesy and I call them into your destiny. I prophesy and I call them into your destiny. There's someone here, God is giving you a word. Go and register a company and just keep it. You may not know what to do with it, but just keep it. Keep it and give God space to use it and surprise you. That's a prophetic word for somebody here. Just register it and keep it. You, There is no business to source for. Don't worry. Register it and keep it. And give God space to surprise you. May that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble I declare where the devil put a comma I change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of Jesus Christ you're here you need Jesus you're saying man of God I've watched the things that the Holy Spirit has done I have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you're here and you're saying Apostle, I want you to pray for me. I love Jesus Christ. But for some reason, my life has gone haywire. 
I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow 1, overflow 2, all following us online. Wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus. We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.